Chapter 17, Microprocessor Fundamentals An Introduction to System Components and Buses A microprocessor is a general purpose device driven by software to perform a specific task. There is some various support circuitry that goes along with a microprocessor such as its data input switches and its output data. Examples of microprocessors is the Intel 8085, the Motorola 68000, which will be used in classrooms uh, that you'll be taking courses in, and the Zlog Z80. Uh, microprocessor reads program instructions, executes instructions, drives external buses, to make connected devices perform specific functions. Microprocessors buses are groups of conductors routed throughout the system, tapped into by various devices, and the sharing information device. The address bus is usually 16 bits wide, generated by the microprocessor. This is selected a particular location or IC to be active for that specific address piece. The data bus sends or receives 8 bits of data to or from the address. It is a bidirectional bus. The control bus is a varying width depending on the processor used. This carries control signals and identifies the operation it wishes to perform. The address decoder, like a 74LS138, ensures that only one IC is active to avoid bus confliction. The memory of the microprocessor is broken down into two forms, the ROM and the RAM. The read-only memory, or EEPROM, initialization of instructions. It monitors the program and the operating system. This is a solid ROM that um, is burnt into the memory. RAM, however, re random address memory is volatile and it's used only for temporary storage. This is because the memory units inside of the RAM can be erased with a power loss, unlike the ROM. The input port. The input port provides data to microprocessor via the data bus. It's an octal buffer with tri-state outputs. The output port, however, talks to the outside world, sends data to the output, and is in the form of an octal D flip-flop. The operation changes made with software. The accumulator is part of this. It stores information for the microprocessor like a register would. The assembly language, this is software that drives the microprocessor. This is one of the languages that microprocessors use. You can purchase microprocessors that use C language or Java language as well as assembly language. The mnemonics of assembly language is known as the abbreviation of the operation to be performed. It's the hex, the two-bit hex code that you'll see. The A85A software is compatible with the 80A. Uh, this is a simple microprocessor that is compatible with a lot of the 8000 series. This is an example of the 8085, the uh, 2040 pin uh, chip and its bus system with these yellow bus lines and its registers along with its control and its outputs and input d devices. The internal architecture of a microprocessor. The internal data bus is the bus that changes and creates all the lines, the data lines, and the address lines. Now it's got general purpose registers, uh, the ALU, arithmetic logic unit. This is the arithmetic functions it performs as five flag flip flops that um, record whether you have a negative, a zero value, an overflow, 
any of those flagging options. Uh, the instruction register and decoder both receive instructions, interpret and create signals for the instructions that the control system puts out. The interrupt control is an external digital signal that interrupts the software during execution. Stack pointer is a pointer that stores addresses of the last entry on the stack. The stack is a data storage area in the RAM. This is used for complex equations as well as the memory for the operating system in certain cases. The program counter is a 16-bit address of the next software instruction. It can be 16 bits or it can be 4 bits or 8 bits or whatever how many bits the microprocessor uh, has it determined to be. Instruction execution within a microprocessor. You'll see this through figure 17-4. You load the accumulator and you store the accumulator. This is seen here. You have your control comes in. It in interrupt control comes in. It goes into the accumulator through the ALU as well as the flags and it goes into the instruction decoder into the timing control unit, the controller and it goes into the registers and the stack pointer, the program counter at certain points in time and the address bus and the data bus to the output. Hardware requirements for basic I.O. programming memory mapped I.O. Is an input and output device accessed as if they were memory locations. IO mapped IO is identifying output and input devices by an 8 bit port number. Writing assembly language and machine language programs. An assembler translates mnemonic into hexadecimal machine code and stores in memory addresses. This is seen with your trainer devices for Micro 1 through Micro 4 classes. The compiler a high level, is for high level language such as Pascal, Fortran, C++, BASIC, or Java. It gets reduced to machine language before execution in the microprocessor. Assembly language translates directly to machine code. And this is BASIC language we have here an assembly language translation to machine language translation of the exact same thing that was done in basic language. These are some popular Intel and Motorola processors and microcontrollers. You'll be most familiar with the 68HC11 and the 6800 or the 8085 as shown in this chapter. So in summary of this microprocessor unit, we'll say that this microprocessor unit is the basis for the next couple semesters at university. Uh, the microprocessor uh, is the heart of a computer system. It reads and acts on program instructions given to it by a programmer. A microprocessor system has three buses, address, data, and control. The microprocessors operate on instructions given to them in the form of machine code, ones and zeros, again, binary form. The machine code is generated by a higher level language like C or assembly language or Java. The Intel 8085A is an 8-bit microprocessor. It has seven internal registers, an 8-bit data bus, an arithmetic logic unit and several input output functions. The microprocessor provides the appropriate logic levels on the data and address buses and takes care of the timing of all control signals output to the connected interface circuitry. And lastly, high level languages like C or Pascal are easier to, easier to write than assembly language, but they are not as memory efficient or as fast. All languages must be converted into a machine language matching that of the microprocessor 
before they can be executed. Assembly language is very easy to understand and easy to learn through the microprocessor um, trainers.